Welcome to the channel, Ajayden Chase. Now, if you're new, remember to like, share, and subscribe. Now, it has been confirmed that a court order is now in place to stop SSL from selling off assets that would make the company unable to pay back UCN Bolt and the other individuals. It seems as if from the finance minister say, he might go call in the FBI. It's like him shake the tree and a whole heap of things are follow. May I make an ear walk one and then we're going to continue the reasoning. Shall we look and listen? Commission has obtained court orders to restrain SSL, the purported trustee of SSL and directors of SSL, from disposing of dealing with assets and liabilities in SSL's name or its clients' names, withdrawing, transferring, or otherwise dissipating any funds from accounts in its name, what wherever held, from interfering with the acts of servants or agents of the FSC and temporary manager from winding up or dissolving the company and liquidating the assets of SSL and from reorganizing the company or its operations, whether in stage, we don't know who is culpable for the fraud that took place. And we don't know whether managers, directors, current or past may be involved in fraudulent activity. So for them to move to wind up the company, which would mean possibly selling assets, assets which may need to be recovered to repay the people who, whose monies would have been stolen, it is important that you put a stop to that. So let me, let me just make the 10 year of mm -hmm. gaps that had happened at Stocks and Securities Limited. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Do you think, how do you believe that as a nation, we'll be able to ride out this storm? Um, seeing I already think... that the stocks markets are being affected. Yeah, I think it will be very easy. I don't think that there's going to be a big issue, Andre. I mean, and, and understand this about the stock market. The stock market is something that rides on emotions, right? So if interest rates go up, for example, the stock market is going to be negatively affected. You can predict it, um, how, what affects the stock markets, you know. Um, if interest rates go down, and this is globally, you always find the stock market go up. If there's news that comes out that affects the perception of certain stocks, you're going to find that the market is going to be affected, whether positively or negatively. Um, mm -hmm. But when the important thing to look at... Mr. Uh, Trump. Yeah. We know about compliance. We know about operating systems. We know about management structure. Right. How then could one person have maneuvered such a complex system. I honestly don't believe, Mr. Trump, yeah. that one person, I honestly believe with all that I am seeing, Mr. Trump, one person, what about the accounting officer? What about the compliance officer, Mr. Trump? Do you really believe, Andre, Mr. Trump, Andre, that Andre, one Andre, Andre. could have mastered that? Andre, Andre, that is a very valid question you ask. Very the audit report, I will go and read the other statements. And I read them. And I know, I mean, when I read them, I see that the system is very strong, right? The, the assets that the, the financial institutions have are very good in terms of the lab. But in the case of SSL, you're saying, but in the case of SSL, Mr. Yeah. Mr. Ch Sir Denny, mm -hmm. they're in Internal report up to 2017 showed that their life liabilities were more liability. That their monies are burnt up. Yeah, because you have to look at the capital adequacy, right? And that's why I'm saying that it's important to look at that. Now, in the case of fraud, the investigators and, and are going to try and and trace the assets because they might be able to recover money by recovering assets, right? And you so have you're to... talking about tracing the possible apartments bill? Exactly. Things the other like... companies bill, the other companies linked to SSL, the assets that those companies possibly where, 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 have where, where, or have. Wherever, where, wherever the fraudulent money went, you have to trace it that way. You know, and, and so that's I mean, to ask you, when you hear, for instance, that uh, Delta Capital. I had an interview earlier today, and 
you know um when when things go wrong that you 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 see that the, an, an organization that you're in is responsible for you must say it you must say yes this is the situation because and 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 you know people were some people were upset when i said boy my main concern is not about the people who have invested their money you know people have invested their money and it is a personal decision that has been made but my main concern andre has been now clearly it seems as if the attempt was to say that the company was bankrupt filing for what in the call in north america chapter 11 which would mean that the company is unable to pay all the things they were supposed to pay i want them to use cn bolt and other individuals the billions of jamaican dollars were gone missing the company would have to pay it back. No, it seems as if assets, things owned by the company, whether the company owned other companies and other lucrative businesses, is unknown. But then they sell off assets. It seems as if Bolton and his legal team did know say the company have the money. They know fair facts that the company have the money can pay it back. But it seems as if the bosses, individuals who have Either shares in the company or ownership of the company is trying to see if, even after all that will take place in the company, even if they are going to start a different company and to stop doing business as this company, they must see how much money they can still save from the business, allegedly. That's still not been confirmed who specifically is authorizing the sell off of these assets but keep in mind no employee no manager can authorize the sell-off of assets owned by a company so definitely something with the bosses those at the very top of authorized a them signature matter when them things are take place but with this court order now put in place this would seem like when all is said and done because for one them now question if both money get take. That is a fact. The other individual's money get take. That is a fact. What people want to know is what happened now. What the individuals want to know what happened now. Who will be paying back the money? And clearly the money I forgot to pay back. If the company have the assets and have the billions, as it has been reported, say 27 billion might still be in the company. And that is why they might try to sell off assets. See how much was that 27 billion they, they can get for themselves. Probably start a different company. But if that is true, and 27 billion is still within the company, that means that the individuals who are their millions and billions taken can get back their money. Because remember, the FBI has been called in to see the extent of what go on, the extent of the fraud will take place. To see if more individuals than we know had their money taken. Remember both same check recently. And after a recent check, him realized that the money get taken. Now the next thing where people are saying that an example need to be set with these financial institutions. People are pointing out regulators have put in place regulations to protect these institutions from customers. The amount of things we have to go through. Just for open a bank account at some of these commercial banks. But we are the regulators to protect customers. A strong example needs to be set. With people who either work or own these financial institutions. And now, with some of the individuals stating that what takes place with SSL, AFEC, the stock exchange, seeing that prominent individuals from the stock exchange are also prominent individuals from the company. And it seems as if the company was a heavy player in the stock exchange, seeing that a large percentage of the country's multi-millionaires invested with SSL. And through this investment, they might invest in the stocks. Now, with the situation that takes place with the company, and the company being investigated, the normal amount of funds would have been pumped from that company to the stock exchange, now flow as usual and as the experts just pointed out 
this is something that is being looked at by the experts. Truth be told, most people are in the opinion that one company can't stop the stock exchange from flourish. And that based on all of our going, if the company still have the billions of dollars, if we pay back the individuals who are their billions invested and then check them account and didn't see them profit. Talk to me in the comment section. If you're new to the channel, click the subscribe icon, then the bell icon, and of course, put it on all. And this is how you know will be notified of all fresh content. As soon as fresh content is uploaded and made available for you right here on the platform, the like icon is also in close proximity to the share icon. Drop a like and bust a share. Tell a friend for tell a friend for tell them sister and then brother them for check out the channel, check out the reason, and also join the discussion. Now, until the reason again, live love and prosper, and stay tuned.